it's actually um, almost. What time is it? It's noon, bro. It's, it's noon o'clock, and I I left this here this morning, and when I tell you it's been a day already, Man. it's already been magical. Yeah. So we went to the gym, went to get the haircut. Jamal pulled up on us, worked out a little Man, bit. Parker. Had was with the homie Parker. Just went to the Asian store to get food for the dogs. About to go find Ego a uh, T-bone, get him some candles so we can do a birthday thing. I'm baking yams right now. This has all happened <laughs> in the past four hours, and I've been up since that damn seven. I actually was up. I took touch of five. I like, man, she's moving too much in the cage. And then uh, I just said, fuck it, I'm up. And I was like, yo, I might as well actually set all the other vlogs up to be rendered out. So I think I'm on day 18, 19. I think it's 19 right now. So I rendered all those out. That's why I left this thing here. I love this one. So you go, man. Stay tuned because I think this is day 20, people. Um, I, I got to say, I'm not super fond of the vlogging. Habits are everything. But what I will say is that we do a lot of great things. And I appreciate you for watching uh, and enjoying some of the behind the scenes stuff. And I got to turn this thing on more when there's more behind the scenes. Because I feel like even to a degree, some of the behind the scenes is still structured. Where I just need to put this thing up and post. So the videos might get a little longer. Uh, but it's going to be that much more entertaining. So stay tuned. Keep killing it. Gate is good. And uh, happy birthday to Ego, man. He's made it to three. That's a, that's a landmark in American Bully World, believe it or not, people. Y'all be seeing them dogs. Man, RIP so-and-so for such and such. Joker wasn't even a good five or six. Like, oh, man, I just, you know, Grim and them dogs is just dead. That joker probably wasn't a good eight years old, man. That's my point. So you go, when we make it to three, he get to five and four, and you like, man, we've done something right. Because we literally be pushing the ass in this heat. And we just walked to the store. And I'd say 60% of it was shaded. And, and we were sweating. So as you can see, it's hotter than five hoochies in Texas. <laughs> and, uh, you know, you see five hoochies, oh, they so bad. But you be like, oh, man, hoochies is hot. <laughs> They need to probably go wash their ass in this kind of weather. <laughs> that booty would be crying. Like, woo, woo, woo. <laughs> you could wash your ass in Texas. Walk straight down the stairs and your ass starts stinking right, in, right away. <laughs> you guys don't know this, but Poppy's getting sued. Um, even though it's, less than, it's like seven grams of sugar. It's been sold as a probiotic. Somebody's like, ah, oh, I didn't know it was supposed to something with their gut. And it's like, made their gut too healthy. Or it's like a lie. It's too sweet. And whatever. <sighs> but you learn hard. I tell you one thing. I turned on that Jamie Foxx thing the other day. It was a uh, movie that he plays in where he plays a lawyer. And uh, Tommy Lee Jones is in it. And I'll tell you this, rule number one, if you're ever selling your business, make sure they sign first. <laughs> we'll talk more about that later. When I tell you these tomahawks were originally 50 bucks. Look at that. Look at that, man. That's crazy. <laughs> so, <laughs> we're about to do that birthday thing. I'm going to put three candles in that booger for uh, Ego. And them tomahawks was only $28. And one was 17. Yeah, yeah, it took off 28. So you got a $17, like two or three pound tomahawk. 23, yeah. $23. And then you got a $23 one. This is magical, man. The original price of one was 53 bucks. So I spent $48 on two thick ass tomahawks. That's crazy. And they're two inches thick. Man. So we're going to see Ego get active, man. He's going to appreciate this, man. Mm -hmm. Guys, we're going to do a uh, <clears throat> Bam Bam update and walk you through where he's at and where I think he's gonna land. I do hope I'm wrong, but in the future, uh, very near future, because dogs don't live that long, quite a few things could go uh, wrong and go right. I know people ask all the time about updates, literally. And, hey, where's this, how's this dog? And I was like, yo, let's, I'm gonna break down everything. Got to see Jamal today, as we said. Uh, like I said, another video, he texted us, me and Jamarcus, last night at 1 o'clock in the morning. Like, man, we're fucking cornering a cop. And unfortunately, you know, his son's the one who, who gave Lola the, the corner of the cop. So that hurts even more because that's two years of investment, uh, invested time, energy, effort. And, and, and 
I, you know, I have plans on all the dogs and strategies and, and hopes and dreams. And so all that goes, I mean, she, it goes, it's gone. So we're walking him through kind of what we think we could do for him and, uh, you know, how we're going to move forward and what we're going to do to potentially create some more good dogs. But, uh, you know, this dog space is a unique space. And I will tell you this, whatever you're doing, especially if you're breeding or buying dogs, do not forget that they are animals. Okay. I think sometimes people want to forget that a dog is still a dog. And the only time remember it's an animal when it's getting attacked and I get those videos like hey what would you do in this she'd be like yo my man I hope I'm never in that situation but I'd have to put him to rest <laughs> cause it's catching it's catching that side of you though you'll be behind in the way I know that they can't see nothing <laughs> <laughs> bit. that's why they push you to the side like yo yo shadow ready yep now it's Ego's birthday so we're doing some surf and turf I never actually scaled anything or, or, or fixed it, but this thing is sharp as a woo. So I'm just gonna chop. Uh oh. Tit, 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 tit. I'm gonna. Oh wow. I'm gonna figure this one out. <laughs> Look at all this good stuff. I'm going to go a little fishing tomorrow on Friday. But let's see what happens. I'm gonna see what Ego can get through and uh, stay tuned. Fish bones, they're only brittle when you cook them. Most part, they're safe. Take care of your dogs. Do you want to take him to the park and feed him, or what you want to do? That's a good question, man. Dang, man, we need to do a new spot for this one. This one, <laughs> this one wasn't a new spot. He clutched. <laughs> like, dang, we can do whatever. We can put him in the water and eat that thing. Probably now we can do that. No, no, no. no, no. Um, dang, what? It's the park? No, it's hot as no, it's hot as ten hoochies out there right now, bro. Yeah, it won't be enjoyable. Not for him or me. I mean, we might hey. just have to do it right here. Yeah. So what up? Uh, yeah. Hey man, I don't know. What do you, what do you want to eat? You go, you want to eat outside? Or you want to eat in here? Outside, have a joke of hockey, bro. Especially start eating that dang on uh. Oh, that's yeah, man. A T-ball? It might have to be right here, bro. Might make this little we'll keep him quarantined in this little corner or something, so you don't you know you get to. Other than that, though, yeah. Blow it 
gotta blow these out. I got your whole tomahawk. Come on, man, blow them. <laughs> You can blow the cameras out. I'll blow them out for you. <laughs> Guys, today is Ego's third birthday. He's getting a little serpent dirt. This is a whole tomahawk steak. I'm proud of this dog. He's come a long way. And we've got a long way to go. Ain't that right, man? Look at that boy. It's supposed to be like this, man. This is the kind of food right here, though, that's going to have you sleep the rest of the day. Tomorrow's a working day for him. I normally don't feed him the day before, but I said, man, is it Ego's birthday? And from my understanding, it is. So, one, two, three. Big three today, man. Let's get you fed, boss. Stay tuned, people. Keep taking care of your dogs. So one of the things this way I got them sweet potatoes because I was gonna do this video on smashing those things up and uh, using the skin as fiber and the importance like well if you give them some hefty meal like this you want to make sure it's a fiber because this stuff is rich in fat um, you know etc etc <laughs> so I'm gonna try to pull one of the smaller ones out see if I can cool it off. making sure dang, that you you give the dog some fiber when you get meals like this here they're going to be super rich and uh, fat and protein and they can be difficult for your dog to break down so while I want him to enjoy his meal I'm like your buddy buddy gotta have some pumpkin spinach and other things to ensure his butt doesn't get stuck so I don't even know if I have anything to help ease the pain. But if I don't, unfortunately, I'll be back at the store over here grabbing some canes of pumpkin. So stay tuned, because we got the blueberries. But this is like, we got a pumpkin this one, people. Sheesh. <clears throat> Sometimes those people smell the problem. She said, man, what do we need to do? I do, it is my belief that I think it'll be easy to figure it out and we don't have to move in five months. Yeah. But that goes that goes for everything. I mean, we'll be able to better fine tune the whiskey and what that looks like and all that stuff, right? Yeah. So in the vlog feel free to comment about what gets you guys engaged and what makes you want to you know engage with the post because you look at it and you say man I watch the video even if we got a hundred thousand views you say huh I watched the video but I didn't engage you know you say man what was that moment of engagement that really drew me in made me want to share with the friends and the beauty about it is what the challenge is everybody's not dealing with the same problem the issue is how do you communicate to all those people, you know, who are looking for solutions? And even to our degree, you know, who is our target audience? And it's not bully people, believe it or not. It's people that want to take care of their dogs. It just so happens we have bullies. So from a marketing standpoint, we've got to get more dogs, breeds, that help us out. Uh, reach other other places and say, what's this black dude doing with the Jack Russell? What's this black dude doing with, you know, a stand case? They said, find him somebody else, and I think he's right. That has an Australian Shepherd that's training it, right? <laughs> what's this black dude doing with the German Shepherd, her short hair pointer, believe it or not? I met a guy who has one, he's black. <laughs> but uh, Sergeant should be here soon. All this stuff costs money. The cost of, of freedom could cost you your life. 
And even though I've not served in the military, I can tell you this, part of the freedom is trying to find success. And finding success, it requires a level of focus every day. And we're focused when we don't have anything. Keep that in mind. Imagine, imagine waking up every day and nothing's changed. Not a financial change, nothing. But you believe that one day it's gonna work out. That's that's business and life. <laughs> so every day we wake up and think, man, how do we improve today? What do we do? What do we have to do today? Not a damn thing. What do we have to work on today? Everything. <laughs> There's a thing, so these are those behind the scenes moments where you said, man, what did you guys do? Well, shot a ton of stuff, got the birthday stuff up, did a breakdown of, you know, final update of Bam Bam. Um, I gotta be honest, I'm saying, sometimes my mental gets drained and it gets drained thinking about the future. And part of that future, let me map you what happens in the next 72 hours. If Stan has time, he'll come up tomorrow. If he doesn't, we will still get to the gym, do a workout, get out, do something with the dogs lightly. Uh, and then we'll turn around Friday. I'm more likely to be up at three, four in the morning fishing. That'll be some stuff to to show you guys how to fillet and fish. And with fish are still okay for the dog. Mm -hmm. Saturday could be a good show. <laughs> I don't need no flexing. And I mean that because, you know, we'll go with our guy Scott. And then Sunday, my uh my buddy my kid Jack will be here. And then when he gets here, all time energy and effort, uh normally it's dedicated to him in some form or fashion while everything else we're doing. Oh, and all next week we'll be moving. So you look up the next quite a few days there'll be minimal to no rest which means there's tons of opportunity so i still got to read still got to work <clears throat> still got to pace myself and you know keep you guys tuned in so i appreciate you guys watching these vlogs i don't know if i'm gonna vlog anything else because if i look up and say man what else am i gonna do today realistically plan i need to look at strategies and structures so many things man <laughs> you got anything you want to add <laughs> no, trust me, you said it all. <laughs> I'm just saying what old stuff I gotta do. <laughs> In addition to that. That part. And that just killed me. Sheesh. So we put everything on hold until we could get back out there. And so now we're just starting out. Okay. Well, I mean. So I, just see, I just saw this when I'm talking with her, Trev, and I'm like, you know what? I have somebody that might fit right up your alley. You know what I mean? That's yeah. kind of already like a plug and play. Yeah, yeah. No, I know a lot of dogs. So I mean, I'm happy to test the product, and you know, if it benefits Rocco, uh, any of the dogs that I think that are older, you know, uh, Edith just called yesterday, and her 17 year old dog died, and because of just changing his eating habits with the way following follow me, she was like, I was able to get two more years, and he died from a uh, cancer in his his, his anal gland, basically, uh, is what she says. So. I, oh no, I'm, carcinogens, everything. Everything, one of the top, look, CCN5, BRAC1, you're speaking to someone who speaks you. I, I know, I, I do medicine and medical stuff, so believe me, um, I'm not removed from it, and it is a huge opportunity. <clears throat> I just need the product so I can test it, because it sounds like something people could apply and put in their baths as well. We did, we did three uh, dogs for him today and his pony. <laughs> Always, man. Okay, always. Man, I felt this, this, was, this was a really, uh, this was pretty much a straight line for me. Ooh. If that made sense. I'll send him oh. some videos and he can send them to you and you can watch some of them. Listen to group. You guys saw that it's easier. Trust, 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 trust. Yeah, and I'll be, are you, uh, so we, we, we're actually building a healthcare based business. Yeah, I build everything. Okay. Business with, with dogs and study data. People send me their medical records all the time of their dogs. So, We've got three major business, online pharmacy, uh, building that with uh, a whole group of network. Everything you could think healthcare related, I worked for a company called Natera back in the day, and they own over 90 hospitals. They do over 1,000 surgeries a week, so I learned building a vertical market, owning orthopedic related to you know, farm, to medicine. I, I learned it all. I know how to, I got a guy who can run a, a blood bank. And so I said, man, you know, the dog space lacks maturity I think if we played our part right in five years, we could be very important um, because I think healthcare is going to matter a lot. And there are already companies who are giving bereavement pay for you know the loss of a dog. So you start looking at the way the world the world shifts, and you go, "This could be interesting." So I just want to be at the right place at the right time and use everything that I've learned and apply it. Even when you talk about hospice, um, you know, <laughs> I've written certifications for CNAs, STNAs, all that stuff. So. I did that for, I did that for, I worked in the hospice industry for 18 years. Huge. Um, I had my own center for seven, and then I had a private pay sector, and I had to pick a couple patients that ran out of money, and I didn't want to put them in a county facility, which was the only option at the time, and I decided to keep them, and I opened up a day spa, and we were doing body treatments, and one of the, one product, the product didn't arrive in time, my friend.
friend suggested I use the product I created for wounds, and that's how I started taking it off. And we started doing over 50,000 people. It went crazy. Yeah. And then I decided to sell it and start training other spas across the world. But I only sold B&B, B2B. The nice thing about the dog program is they can do it at home, and it's retail. And we didn't have a retail program for our B2B yeah. because we had to sell it to dogs. Yeah. So, but the doctors can see it. Well, I'll definitely have a ton of questions. Send me any science that you have on it because I, I basically hear all the big stuff and then I simplify it like, yo, your dog's got a gut problem. Use this, okay? The gut's the third brain. On, on our website is all the, the uh, patents that the doctors had gotten uh, yeah. from, the, from the Marines and for NASA on the antioxidants. And you'll be able to see what they did for antioxidants. They used the Baptist Memorial. They help people after that chemo <clears throat> radiation. Helps hurt their immune system again because they have such a struggle. Now, if somebody is a dog or human is going through radiation and chemo, they cannot use our product for a couple weeks before, several weeks after, because it protects the DNA in the cell, which is a good thing. But unfortunately, during that t time, that's going after all cells, and you can't protect the cells during chemo radiation. You're not supposed to. So you're not even supposed to take Kel when you're doing those kind of things. Interesting. A vegetable. Yeah. Oh, that makes yeah. sense. That makes sense. Uh, look, look, you speak my language, Max. Let me know what you need from me. And, uh, you know, if I can help in any way, shape, or form, I definitely will. Uh, I've got a couple of ideas running through my head just in terms of how I think people should maybe use it, apply it, and try it. Uh, and then, of course, when I get my hands on it and put it to the test, I'm happy to do so. Don't be lost. Are you still there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, I live in Hawaii, but we're here the oh, next oh. few days. And then he lives in Idaho. He's so, in Texas. Oh, you're in Texas. So yeah. You're, we're planning. Going to Texas, but it'll be a few months. Okay, well, I'll, look, more than likely, I'll be here or I'll be out there. I'll probably be in uh, Cali sometime in August, man. <laughs> Where about in Texas are you at? So, DFW, are we right in that Dallas area? Okay, you know, are you familiar with La Cantera over at, I think it's in Fort Worth? No, I've, uh, I've spent a lot of time in Fort Worth, so I would have no clue. It's a five star resort. We trained 20, uh, 20 of their girls to do our human line over there. See? So, they loved it. They called us and they bought our biggest package, which we sold like a twenty five thousand dollar package. There you go. Look, I love it. But I love with the it. dog line, it's a simple thing. They just simply pay. It comes out to about ten dollars an application. But a groomer or a vet can charge one hundred, one hundred fifty for the session, and the cost is only about ten dollars. That's smart. The tad lock, really good ROI. And, I, and I've got vets too. Tadlock loves a good margin, so he loves doing nail trims because it's a ten dollar product. He sells you forty, so it's all about profit margins and, and squeezing, not squeezing, but just you know utilizing the little things to optimize. It's a ROI. Yeah, right. always. Like a good percent return. Absolutely. See, I told you. I told you. I, I told you I was just good for something, right, Trev? I'm good for something. <laughs> Max, you know you're good for a lot of things, man. Quit, 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 quit excluding yourself, man. That's why. You I have a great little. You got good chi too. I like. Of course, I've read the book. Michael Beckwith. Do you know Michael Beckwith? I don't know him, but, but I, I've read the book for oh, sure. He's amazing. He's been on Oprah Winfrey about, I don't know, maybe 10 times she's done shows on him. Yeah. He's awesome. He is one of my investors in my human line. He's a great guy. Really, really <laughs> awesome man. I love him. He doesn't have the dreads anymore. He shaved him off when he went to Egypt, but he's just the coolest man you've ever met. So. <laughs> Well, hopefully I get to meet you guys one of these days. Uh, Max, I said, you know, put us in the chat. Let me know what you need from me. And you guys have a good rest of your trip, all right? You too. All right, man. I'll talk to you, boss. Don't forget about me when you're famous. All right, man. <laughs> all right, man. All right. All right. Oh, man. Hey, look, sorry about that. Y'all niggas is dead to the motherfucker. <laughs> Can y'all hear me? <coughs> Sheesh. These niggas are still running around hanging out with Narragun, nigga. These niggas didn't hold me up, boy. 